Mr. Cena, I need your help. I really don't get this calc thing. Uh, I wish I could help, Brian, but the hockey game is on, and I have a leak in G11 to 10 too. Sorry, Brian. What are you bringing? Okay, that's fine. What's up, Kevin? Brian, did you do the calc homework? I don't get it. No, I have no idea how to do that either. So that the blue. Alright, see you, Kevin. Hello? Yeah, I can help you out. A plan? I've got just the plan. They be missing and missing and missing and missing. They missing the sea. Calc's been getting stressful. It's been troubling me. Memorizing theorems is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 p.m. to study with me. All my grades semester one been humbling me. Product will remember in it simply. Product of two functions of G prime and prime G. Integration rules gonna keep you busy. F prime integrated equals F X plus C. Calc's plan. Calc's plan. Negative product over G squared, the quote. MVT F prime of C equals the slope. F prime G of X, G prime of X, take note. IVT apply if integral is closed. Limit don't exist, infinity approach. Integral will find the total that is grossed. But still. Bad grades, there's a lot of cow things that I'm missing I'm wishing I would and I probably shouldn't get peace Bad grades, there's a lot of cow things that I'm missing I'm wishing I would and I probably shouldn't get peace He said, can you integrate? I'm integrating partially. I only love my textbook and Loki tall, I'm sorry. Curving it, double prime depicts concave junctions. And turning it, the quotient of the derived functions. And you know, C, maximin at least once a DVT, yeah. Crit points where F prime zero or D and E. Imagine if I couldn't find the extreme, nah. Calc's plan, Calc's plan. Negative product over G squared, the quote. MVT F prime of C equals the slope. F prime G of X, G prime of X, take note. IVT apply if integral is closed. Limit don't exist, infinity approach. Integral will find the total that is grossed. But still. Bad grades, there's a lot of cow things that I'm missing. I'm wishing I would, and I probably shouldn't get peace. Bad grades, there's a lot of calc things that I'm missing I'm wishing I would and I probably shouldn't get peace Alright Brian, now that you've been educated, it's time to put it to the test How do you do this first problem? Well that's easy, just use the quotient rule Yes, we're going to be finding the derivative of 1 plus sine x over e to the x plus 1 with the quotient rule Earlier in the song, the product rule was outlined as fg prime and f prime g because later in the song, when the quotient rule was mentioned, you put the negative sign before fg prime and then put g squared in the denominator to get the answer. Now that you have your f, g, f prime, and g prime, you can plug in and get your answer. All right, great. What about the second problem? Oh, even easier. Here we have two simple functions, so you really could just make it fg of x and then find the derivative of that, but because the chain rule exists, we can do it that way as well. We have f of x being x to the 7th, f prime of x being 7x to the 6th, g of x being x squared plus 1, and g prime of x being 2x. So when you plug them into the chain rule, you get your answer. Chain rule. Brian, it seems like the plan worked. Oh, it sure did.
You can go whenever. Come dance with me, Mr. Arsino. <laughs> Kevin, I'm in the... I'm just swimming. I'm swimming to that five. There's a moth in here. What? I, there's a moth. I feel uncomfortable. Why do you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, what are you doing? Stop showing your many necks. What? <laughs> my chin. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, this actually kind of looks kind of lame. Okay, move to that. Zoom out. Are you like that? Shut up, shut up. Oh,